Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of May 2nd to May 8th, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Gemini, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind that roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. All right, let's see your energy for the week. All right, Gemini, first card here is we have the Five of Cups, Nine of Cups in reverse, Temperance in reverse, Lovers upright, Hierophant in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse at the bottom, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Chariot. There's an offer here, Page of Pentacles, that you're thinking about with the Eight of Swords. The Chariot is all about taking action. So some of you have to decide whether whether you want to take action towards some kind of opportunity here with the Page of Pentacles or some kind of offer. The lovers is in the upright position. I feel like there's some sort of love opportunity. Can I get some confirmation spirit on that? Tell me about the lovers, please. Oh, three of pentacles, okay. That's That could be work-related, by the way, for some of you, it's work. I don't think so. It could be work, but I feel like we're talking about love because we do have the five of cups here. Uh, page of swords in reverse. Yeah, I think there's an opportunity here with the three of pentacles and the lovers to to come together with with someone to reunite, reconnect, to, to form a partnership, a collaboration, a partnership. You're studying it though, Page of Swords is in reverse. You're studying it, you're analyzing it. You're not sure, you're overthinking, um, which is common right for gemini eight of swords overthinking you're overthinking about this possible collaboration this possible partnership why are you so sad here though it looks really sad here five of cups and the nine of cups is in reverse so there's some sort of deep sadness connected to you what's that about spirit what's the five of cups here The Empress upright. Hmm. And the Magician in reverse. The Empress upright is telling me that there's nothing wrong. Empress upright is a really good 
and it's a really good energy it's a really positive energy so maybe you're just not seeing the positive um maybe you're just not you're not seeing the positive opportunity that's in front of you you know i kind of this kind of feels like the last reading i think yeah there it is Look at the two cups that are behind this person. Those two cups represent the two of cups, which is um, a relationship, a happy relationship. But you're not really looking at the two of cups. You're looking at the three of the three cups that have spilled, um, that have spilled over, that are laying on the ground. Um, this kind of feels like the last reading. So I, I think you're just. Um, you're making yourself unhappy, basically. I don't think there's anything happening because the Empress is upright. So I think things are really good, actually, for you. Things are really good for you. I think you're just focusing on, on the negative that's connected to your past. And it's kind of lowering your your vibration, I suppose. You're, it's lowering your vibration. Yeah, you're losing strength here with the magician because the magician is all about um, being empowered, being confident, um, being being a manifester in your life. And it's in reverse. So it's almost like you're not trusting in your own manifestation abilities to to create the reality that you dream for yourself that you desire for yourself to overcome the the obstacles or the mm -hmm. To overcome the obstacles or the problems, the issues that you've endured in, in your life, especially connected to love. It's almost like you don't trust yourself a little bit. You don't trust yourself to... to be stronger than your than your emotions. I think you're scared that your emotions might overwhelm you. Like they've already like they they already have. So this is all about kind of connecting to to your power, connecting to your to your strength. I mean, it's okay to be sad, you know. Because I don't think that's the point here. I don't think you're supposed to, like, just not feel anything, you know? It's okay to feel things, but that doesn't mean that you can't, you can't keep moving on. You can move on and you can manifest the things that you want for yourself while at the same time feeling feeling what you feel your feelings are fuel your feelings can be fuel for you They're, they don't have to be a liability they don't have to be a weakness you can turn it into a strength and that's including your your past experiences your past failures, those can also work in your favor to to fuel to fuel you, to push you forward. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling in this energy. I feel like there's something really good here, Gemini. There's some sort of uh, opportunity here that is promising. It's a promising opportunity. It's a promising new beginning. Yeah, 
even with the Page of Pentacles, it looks like something that might actually be worth it to, you know, to give it a chance. From what I can see here, it looks like it's worth it. It looks like it's it's worth it's worth taking that leap of faith. But definitely you you need to kind of get out of this negative headspace basically cuz that's that's all it is really it's just it's just your mindset you know i don't want it wants upright and the knight of swords in reverse you want to move towards something here eight of wands so it's like you want you want to you want to go on this journey whatever this journey is you want to move forward um but you need to do it with a clear head knight of swords in reverse can be someone who doesn't have a clear head and that can be dangerous you know can be dangerous to take action towards something with you know with with a head that's not clear so you need to be clear-headed here and you need to be confident and empowered so that that comes with healing right temperance is a part of healing what's the temperance in in reverse let's see nine of pentacles in reverse and the king of pentacles Oh, this is about commitment. Yeah, you want something that's committed. This is what you want, a relationship that's committed, that's stable, that's reliable, that's secure. Some of you feel like the only reliable relationship you can have is with yourself, you know? Some of you feel like you're the only one who, who you can trust. And that's definitely making you feel sad and lonely. Just know, just thinking about, you know, the fact that you only have yourself. But I don't think that's true. I think, um, yeah, you always have yourself. But there's somebody out there for you, Gemini, with the lovers and the three of pentacles. Um, you just have to kind of look for it and um, take a chance on the opportunities that are pre being presented towards you. Because I feel like there's something good out there for you, but you don't want to kind of miss out by just kind of isolating yourself, basically, you know self-isolation all right i'm gonna get out of this energy let's move on to your person Whew. that was that was a difficult reading all right spirit Show me the energy of the person Gemini is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Gemini, let's look at your person. First card we have is two of wands in reverse. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. We have the page of cups, could be a water sign also. We have queen of swords, 
four of wands in reverse queen of cups in reverse death in reverse we also have another gemini possibly libra or aquarius at the bottom of the deck we have chariot in reverse There's indecision here connected to this person. There's also like grief. Hmm. There's somebody here who really um, is grieving a separation with you. Or is grieving the distance that it, exists between you two tell me more about that spirit page of cups i don't know if this is your i think this is you queen of swords might be you let's see what's the page of cups lovers look at you there gemini what else we have the seven of cups the lovers and the seven of cups page of cups Seven, eight. Yeah, if you add seven and one, it's eight. So I, I do feel like somebody walked away here or somebody created distance. Um, but I feel like this is someone who wants to close the gap. They want to close the gap between you and them. I also feel like this is someone who's been, who's done a lot of like, you know, looking at the other options that they have with the Seven of Cups, looking at the other options. However, the more that they look, the more that they realize that you're the, like, you're the right one with the Lover's card. You're the right one for them. I feel like this is someone who's not interested in any other option. They're not interested in it, in, in, in any other option because... None of those options are Gemini, you know? <laughs> and apparently they want Gemini. Hmm. I like the energy, it looks good. Um, Queen of Cups is in reverse, let's see. Why is Queen of Cups in reverse? Four of Cups, upright. Oh, okay. So they're trying to temper themselves here. They're trying not to give too much. They're tr they're holding back some some emotion here. Oh, so it's actually more than they they have a lot more emotion for you than than what they show than what they've shown in the past. I don't know what the tense is, present tense, past past tense. It's it's a lot greater. Their feelings for you are, are a lot greater than than what you think. Okay. What's more of the Queen? Tell me more of the Queen of Cups. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There's an energy of somebody feeling rejected here. Reject they feel rejected by you, Gemini. This is someone who still feels like there's unfinished business between you two with the Wheel of Fortune. This is someone who wants to repeat something with you or have a second chance with you. But they're scared of rejection or they're scared of another rejection. What's the Queen of Swords doing? King of Swords in reverse and the Hangman in reverse. I feel like this is what you've been doing here. This is your energy. Yeah, I feel like you've been keeping to yourself, you know. Some of you have been acting cold. Especially with the King of Swords in reverse. You've been acting kind of cold on, and detached. Um, 
and emotionless, you know? You've been keeping to yourself and this person is interpreting it as as you're not interested in them any you're not interested in them anymore. You don't want them, you're not thinking about them, you don't have feelings for them. That's how they're interpreting it. I feel like there's pain connected to this person, um, heartbreak, three of swords, pain and heartbreak. This is someone who wants stability with you, with the six of pentacles. Um, the two of pentacles is here. Why is that two of pentacles is here? Why is that two of pentacles here? Um, judgment card. Yeah, so this is about second chances. So they're not sure if if a second chance is viable, if it's an option with you because of the way that you've been like acting, I guess you've been, like I said, I feel like you've been acting um, distant, um, emotionless. Some of you have just not been communicating much. Um, and they're not really sure if a second chance would even be possible. I feel like they want a second chance though. They do want a second chance, but they are scared of rejection. All right, Gemini, I'm gonna continue in the extended reading now. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what are their real feelings for you, what are their real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.